on the yard. The other mob are dropping the wrestling on Saturday afternoon. In consequence of which, Duke Assi Promotions PLC are proud to present alternative wrestling from the stadium on the green here at Shepherd's Bush. Tonight's contest is a catch, catch can. Watch it, that's me leg, medium welter, light heavy double, feather cruiser, bantamweight battle. Between Amy Blue Collar, Bear Man, John Elijah. <laughs> It was no very bad to me, but I bet Elijah's hoping to make a profit. And in the red corner, the one they call the Leslie Crowther of wrestling. <laughs> when he grabs them, they come on down. Yes, cast iron, Caswell! <laughs> Your referee is Mola Mick McManus. <laughs> and when, when he says break, They'll break. An arm, a leg. <laughs> See everything get hold of. Teeth and seconds out, and may the best man win. <laughs> right, gentlemen, good clean belt. Obey my instructions at all times. Back to your corners when the bell goes, commence wrestling. Three years, wrestling's coming off the screen. The reaction, what's that been? Are, are people protesting? Well, it's a great disappointment, obviously, to me and uh, millions of people. Uh, lots of letters have, gone, I think, gone into OWT and uh, various uh, other <coughs> ITV companies. Uh, all sorts of uh, petitions have been signed, but uh, whether or not they're making a difference, I don't know. I tell you what always strikes me of wrestling matches is is the women seem to take it more seriously than anybody else, don't they? You've always got... <laughs> but, they, you know, they're always waiting there with the handbags to have a go and... I mean, who are more frightening if you're a wrestler, your opponent or the women? The women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you, you used to be yeah, a real nasty piece of work, didn't you? Yeah, I was. I wasn't a very pleasant fellow, yeah, I must admit. Yeah. What but did the they show? What did the women show? I mean, that you can mention at 7 o'clock in the evening. Oh, all sorts of nasty things, you know, like Doc's dead and you know, break his arm, break his leg, break his neck, break his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah all the nice pleasantries, you know. Feminine, and, uh, yeah, feminine, feminine and gentle, yeah. yeah. How did you answer that? I mean, did you, you, you try to whip him up to a, an evil I, worse friend? I used to make, you know, some obscene gestures from time did to you? time. <laughs> I would have looking at you, I wouldn't have thought. An obscene gesture from yeah. yeah. Like that kind of thing. That sort of thing. Yeah. 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 What is the attraction, though, about, for women about wrestling? Do you think? Well, I, I think it's a physical attraction, first of all. I mean, most of the fellas are. <laughs> there aren't interested with this crowd around, are they? Uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're, most of the guys are good looking fellas, and pretty well built. And, uh, There's no need for that. There is no need for that. 
a perfectly good-looking man. And I, and I, I suppose I, they sort of identify certain wrestlers with maybe their, their sons or their husbands yes. or their boyfriends. But is it not something? all stage managed? You know, I mean, is not, it not all organised? No, not, not, not at all. Not at all. I mean, let's well, face I mean, it. Oh, even, they don't believe it. They don't believe it. Even, <laughs> even if it was, and I'm not saying it is. I certainly wouldn't say it in front of uh, many no, of people, would I? That's for sure. Yeah, wrestlers, no, I think do, the wrestlers terrorists get injured, don't they? They do, of course they do. They do. I mean, I've had one or two injuries. I wouldn't born like this. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> they would have slapped your mother. No, I've broken my wrist. <laughs> I've broken my wrist, of, you know, one or two cuts and grazes and all sorts of things. A couple yeah. of cauliflower ears. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's pretty tough going. The thing is, you see, whether you whether you take a cynical view of wrestling or whether you uh, uh, believe in it. The thing is that people enjoy it. That's the main thing. They do enjoy it. There's no question about that. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a great evening out because there's no, no aggravation, no trouble, no sort of football hooliganism and all that business, no betting, no gambling. It's a great night out, and that's, that, that really is the bottom line. People enjoy it. And uh, Channel 4 has shown sumo wrestling, which seems to be catching on. That's yeah, the Japanese fellas pushing themselves ahead. Yeah, it's, it's not... <laughs> It's not my cup of tea, really. No. Yeah, it's very big in Japan, obviously. Well, you're not big enough to be a sumo. No, I know. <laughs> I would want to be that size anyway. No, no, quite. And um, I, it, it, it's fine. You know, I appreciate the, the, the power of the guys. You know, it's yeah. all about power-weight ratio and all that business. But I feel that um, there's, there's not enough action. It's pretty... pretty yeah. Well, it's all ceremonial, throwing yes, souls and all it's, that it's, kind it's, of yes. stuff. Did yes. you ever have uh, any embarrassing moments in the ring yourself? Well, one or two, yes, one or two. You care to tell us something? Well, I went, I remember once I was wrestling up in the Midlands, and I usually get there pretty early, as most of them do, but on this occasion the, the train was late, and I got to the show all about five minutes before it was due to start, so <coughs> one of the stewards said, hurry up, he said, you're on second, he said, the show's going to start in five minutes, so I got stripped off and started putting put my dressing gown on, which was a long gown in those days, and I started putting my boots on, you know, they'd take time putting the old boots on. And of course, the fellow keeps in and out, you know, come on, hurry up, you're nearly ready. So I said, yeah, it won't, won't be long. He said, right, about started. He said, now, get cracking, because anything can happen. And sure enough, it did happen. The fellow went out the ring, cut his head, and he said, right, you're on. Where's your, where's your towel? I said, in the bag. He said, right, let's go. In we go. Now, I used to, when I used to get in the ring, I used to stand in the corner, and I'd sort of uh, loosen my gown, you yeah. see. And then when they said in this corner, Big Mac Man, I said, spin around and whip the old gown off. Yeah. You know, I loosened my gown, I looked down, all over with my boots and socks on. <laughs> so I, I hurriedly, you know, did the gown up and yeah. I said, I mumbled something in the second, oh, I forgot my knee bands and that, and lipped out and uh, came back and... All was well. What a disappointment for everybody. <laughs> could have made the news of the world, couldn't I? You certainly could, yeah. Now, what about the real theatre? Do you think, do you think that, that television, without television, that wrestling can, can survive? Well, it survived for many years before yeah, uh, the but television. Yeah, but it need of, it. of course, you, you need it. Cool. I mean, it's a shop window, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's, it's where you make the good matches, you, you introduce interesting people, and, uh, you know, you promote certain fellows, and uh, hopefully they become well-known personalities and mm. so forth. So, yes, it, 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 the, the, the uh, promoters will miss it a great deal. But I think it will continue, but um, we'll have a big effect on it. But who knows, someone else might take it up, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, it must be a worthwhile proposition. You've got a guaranteed building audience of, say, four million people, so uh, somebody might hey, take if it. If it goes, well, what will you do? You go back to, to flower arranging in origami? Yes, I will do that. <laughs> I might go back into the antique business. The antiques, yeah, because you collect Dresden, China. Oh, I used to be in the antique business yeah. years and years ago, but of course, you know, when I sort of got very, very busy in the wrestling business, I, I sort of uh, yeah. gave it up, really, but um, I don't know, I might <coughs> go back. But I do some public relations work, you yeah. know, with, uh, yeah. It's good company. to see you. You're looking hale and hearty. And well, thank well, you. Yeah, thank yeah. you for bringing us two wrestlers up. I lead a clean life. You do. Me too. That's why you're here. It's only clean people. Make McManus. Nice,